Hi, Vintesh Ram. Uh, good evening. So, hope you're doing good, right? Yeah, thank you. So, today we are going to discuss about the SAP FIC wall enterprise structure. So, first, before we move to this uh, SAP FIC enterprise structure, we just need to know about the SAP FIC organizational structure. I mean, what are the points that are there in this uh, SAP FIC organizational structure? Here, we will have client, operating concern, controlling area one, controlling area two, controlling area three, then company code one, company code two, company code three, etc. Then business area one, business area two, business area three, etc. So every project should follow this SAP FIC organizational structure only. Right? Yeah. Then uh, we are going to discuss about the SAP FIC enterprise structure. So now I am sharing my screen here. Here I'm going to open one image about this SAP FIC enterprise structure. So here we will have four points, mainly four points are there. Then here, I mean, uh, for the company and company code and business areas and credit control areas, later we will assign those company codes to the particular company to the particular business area to the particular credit control area later we will do that first we need to know basic understanding about the company what is the company company is an organizational financial unit where individual financial statements can be drawn according with appropriate commercial and legal requirements and however, so company has several types of local currencies where we can derive separate financial statements. That is profit and loss account and also balance sheet, right? So here SAP FI configurations are extremely crucial in consolidation of accounts. Why in SAP FI, a company has several types of company codes, but it acts as a single unit for which financial statements are available here you can see the image company company code business area credit control area i will give you a basic example so that you uh, i mean you will get basic understanding about this one you have established one company that is Venki exports and imports so in india right so for this you need to have company code why we need to have company code so we need to get proper reports i mean financial statement analysis for the particular period, for the particular year, right? Suppose you have established this company in India, right? So you want to establish one company to the, uh, I mean, in the uh, US countries and also Canada and London, etc. So for this, you no need to establish or you no need to uh, create this company. You can just create your company code based on that company code. So we will uh, get the financial statements, right? Profit and loss accounts and also balance sheet like that. Right. So this is about the company code. When it comes to the third one, that is business area. What is the business area? Established your company in Delhi and you are exporting those materials like granites, material sheets, doors, um, etc. Right here, uh, I mean, in, uh, in Madhya Pradesh state, one customer ordered one door sheet, right? And he wants that material within two days, right? Will you deliver the uh, goods within a two days? No, right? It takes some time. That is why if you have the business area in the Madhya Pradesh, right? So those material will come to this business areas and that material will go to the customer within two days of time, right? So based on the business areas only, we can get financial reports uh, for the particular period and also for the um, particular year, right? So this is about the business area. Then when it comes to the credit control area, what do, you, what do you mean by credit control area? Actually, credit control area means credit control area controls the credit limit of the customer. 
so suppose you have a, a huge customer right huge customer means you are uh, exporting huge i mean bulk amount of material to the particular customer all right so he doesn't have that much of money to, i mean to pay uh, that money for your material or for your exports right so in that point what you will need to do so you just give that credit amount to the particular customer right and after that you will get uh, some of the interest based on the fixed income right or the based on the fixed money so that is why credit control area is very much important in our fsu organization all right so this is about the fsu enterprise structure those points are i am repeating for you once again company company code business area credit control area so today we are going to uh, discuss about the company i mean what is the navigation path and how we can create the company in sap is a access that is demo access now i am using this demo access so you just go to the test here give your user id right then i am giving my password So uh, this is the um, SAP screen, the demo screen only. So in the search button, you can just give your company code. The, I mean, uh, sorry, company. So company uh, transaction code is creation of the company transaction code is over expecting. Otherwise, if you want to go to this, uh, uh, what we say, navigation path, we will have the navigation path also. What is that? You can just in the search button, you can just uh, search with SPR. Right. When you go to this uh, the screen, so here SAP reference IMG, IMG information project analysis will appear. You can just go to the SAP reference IMG. Then here you can just go to the enterprise structure. Then you can just go to the definition. Then you can just go to the financial account. Here you will have defined company. When you click on that defined company, the screen will appear like this. Or else, or else, you can just go with transaction code. What is the transaction code for the creation of company OX15? Here, we will have new entries, right? You can just go to the new entries here. Whatever you want to uh, create the company, you can create. Here, uh, the company is, okay, I'm giving SARA. See, all right. So here, company is Sarah Sports and Imports. So here, you can just give for your reference only name of company two is Sarah Sports and Imports. So here, you need to give complete detailed information for your company. Why? Because whatever the information that you are giving, so those will be stored in this SAP access only, right? What is the straight that you are giving? Um, you can just give a straight is Modi. What is the post office box? You can just give the post office box. What is the postal code? You can just give the file like 82. What is the city? You can just give the Hyderabad city and the country so if you go to this drop down option so you can find out that one whether you're creating this company for the uh, for india or else for uh, uh, london or for uk or for america so uh, you can uh, take it that one from finding option right that is i am taking india yes so here india is there and language key what is the language key universal language key is english right uh, I mean, uh, so uh, suppose you have established uh, your company um, in the China, 
so the language key would be the china key only suppose you have established that uh, a company in japan so your language key is japan key all right so here i'm giving language key is english you can just go to the find out option here i'm giving a en so that is english right so currency is in india uh, we are taking the currency as inr okay you can just see or else if you go to this uh, drop down option so you can find that one right that is inr see indian rupees there yes you can just go to the save option just to save it right so here there is a create request right what is a create request just click on this one yeah so whatever you are creating based on your company you can just give the description short description is creation of sara exports and imports you can just go to the save option you can just save it right just click on this uh, green option yes so here in the screen below you can see data was saved okay just go back i mean so i mean in the demo access uh, some of the people will use uh, i mean some of the people will create so many companies like that so here if you want to see uh, whatever you have created you can just go to this position option you can just give company that is sara company right so here this is the just click on this one here you can see whatever you have created company company name straight post office postal codes right so this is about the company so later we will discuss about the company code and business areas and credit control areas and we need to know assigning of the uh, i mean company code to the particular company and also business areas and credit control areas are very important in this uh, FICO enterprise structure, right? So, uh, I mean, tomorrow class, we can see this. Uh, uh, what is the configurations for the company code? What is the configuration for the business areas? What is the configuration for the credit control area, right? So, uh, until take care, thank you and bye.